Hello friends, I'm back and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. Today's video is a collab and today I will be setting a table for spring. Now my table is going to be a little unorthodox as you'll see when we get to it. However, it is a spring tablescape. I've pulled out some of my oldest china and um, that I haven't used in years. I think that's told you guys I'm going to share it with my daughter I think if she wants it but that's going to be fun now this uh, collab is hosted by my friend um, Stephanie from creatively miss me with Stephanie and her co-host is Gr glam queen of DE DIY so guys we're going to go ahead I'm going to put this together and I hope that you will enjoy going down this journey with me now as you'll see I'm going to start one way and end up a, in a totally different place which happens a lot of times when we are decorating so sit back and watch me pull it together and when it gets to the part where you see oh my god she's made a total switch out leave me a comment below of what you think about that does that happen to you ever where you start out going in one direction and you end up totally someplace else in your decorating let me know in the comments below but come on in now and let's set this spring table now friends let me tell you from the start that this is a no spend as I said, I used China that I, I've, I've had packed away for many, many, many years. Um, the table runners that you see, you've seen before. Um, I happen to have two of them. So I started, thought I'd put them together and make them a, like, more like a tablecloth. I never do a tablecloth. I don't know. I like for the wood of the table to show. That's just my preference. So very rarely do I use a tablecloth. And uh, for my table for two, I like for the glass to show. So, But I thought I would give it a shot. But here, guys, is where you're going to see how I start out. And then you'll see how I end up. But while I have you here, let me say this about our host and our co-host. Um, Stephanie from uh, Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie is a wonderful creator. She does all things... Um, decorating shopping halls it's a lifestyle channel very similar to mine i think um we come at it from a different way but very similar and i know that you're going to love her and um her co-host this time glam queen of diy if you're looking for glam and you want some great diys follow her now i'll have a link to both of their channels in my um, description box below so be sure to go over and show them some love and if you go to their channel from mine let them know that I have sent you and uh, as I said show them some love now guys it kind of slipped past us here but did you see what I did there I started out with gold chargers and gold and gold and gold and ended up with the white and I started out with two of the table runners and ended up with the one I just think it's cleaner, it's nicer, it's more my style, it's more farmhouse. I love the gold charges, but this just was not the place for them, I don't think. So we're going to take it from here. But as you see, it totally, totally changed. Right? Now, when I said it was going to be a little different, what I meant was most people don't add black um, when they're doing spring vignettes or spring tablescapes. But in my case, my china is black and white and yellow and when you get a close-up you'll see that um, all of the flowers all of the florals are sort of etched out in black and then there's yellow in the middle of it and then of course the white plate and then it has the black rim around it so thusly I decided switch up don't use white or yellow napkins throw your black in there even though it's spring I think everything else is going to be light enough for the black to be okay let me know what you think it is a little unorthodox to use black but you guys know I love black and white and I just thought it was fitting because of the colors here on the table I also use my black goblets to go with this as well so let me know what you think
Friends, I thought I'd take a moment and point out the DIYs on the table. The um, candelabras that actually have the um, the green um, sort of, I guess you would call those, I'm not sure what you call those, but the green ball sitting on top, they were both um, DIYs that I had candelabras that I got from the thrift store and I had the tops that I got from the thrift store. So I, um, the, and it was clear glass, I spent sprayed them to give them the frosted look and um, married the two together and I've been using them for a very long time. Now as you get a closer look at my china you can see what I meant about the black and the yellow. Thusly um, I used the black napkins and I just tied it with the yellow ribbon. Something simple. I had um, bunny rabbit ears that I could have used but I thought not this time just a little different on the end of each table I have a setting of what we could be drinking um, uh, I have a wine carafe on one end and then I have a picture for uh, homemade lemonade is what I have in mind <laughs> and then I have serving trays as well um, this is quite a large set uh, of China and the box in the middle of the table um, I said it was a no spin but I did buy this about three three or four months ago it's just been sitting in the closet but it was really inexpensive it was like I, I want to say $13 for that size and it had different sizes and all I did was I put um plastic bags in the bottom I didn't even use foam and then I stuck my florals in because I didn't want to you know it didn't have to be that complicated to get the the centerpiece done of course my signature angels are on the table what I don't have this time, what you will see that is missing, are my signature candelabras. But I may add a candle or two in the uh, the floral arrangement. What's not there now, but that I have had added since then, and you may see that in the pictures, is I put a bunny um, in the middle of the floral arrangement. So, you know, you tweak things here, you tweak things there, and I had already done this footage but I think it's going to be in the pictures that you're going to see at the end. So it will change a bit. But I hope you like this. I've, I enjoyed putting it together for you. As I said, it's a little unorthodox. A little different than what I normally do uh, for spring. Everything is normally really, really bright and light. And but I thought this was, was very pretty. And I'll change it out after Easter because, of course, I've got the bunny and I've got the eggs. Um, but for now, I thought it was pretty. And I hope you do as well. So guys, um, I would like to uh, in encourage and invite you guys to find something today that brings joy into your life. Um, we all need a little joy, as I always say. If you're new to my channel and um, you haven't been here before, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. And once you do, I hope you will also hit that little bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming content. We'd love to have you become a part of our lifestyle channel here. I'd like to thank um, Stephanie and I'd also like to thank um, the, the glam queen of DIY for hosting this, this little collab. It's been a lot of fun and I'm going to see you in the next video. Be well, be loved, be happy, and be healthy. And I'm leaving hugs and blessings for each of you. Bye-bye.